Hi guys, James here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing something different. I'm filming on my phone, so the quality isn't 100%. But I wanted to sit down and just have a lazy day or hour cleaning out my everyday makeup drawers. Now, I have been overwhelmed with my makeup drawers lately. I just have too many items in it. And I've also been using a lot less items for my base. Um, I have my eyeshadow palettes in drawers next to me, but in my everyday makeup drawers, I have blushes, bronzers, setting powders, concealers, primers. I have lip liners, lip glosses, lipsticks, foundations, concealers, brow products, and there's just a lot of items that I'm not using lately. And I just want to kind of sit down and clean out my everyday makeup drawers and also maybe declutter some items. So I have a hair on my face, don't I? I can just feel it. I just had a shower, so that's why my hair's wet. I haven't put any product in it. When I'm not working or anything, or I'm just having a lazy day at home, I um, just wash my hair and then I let it dry naturally. So it might go a little Afro-ish and look a bit messy. I've also just um, moisturized my face. I haven't shaved, so, you know, I've got a bit of a, like, five o'clock shadow happening. Um, I don't shave unless I'm going to work just because I do have outbreaks in my shaving area. So when I don't have to shave, I don't shave. I'm just at home, so it's just me. So I do apologize for my appearance, but that is why I look the way I do. I'm gonna push my tripod back a little bit on my phone. Um, I'm just, I'm gonna show you what my drawers look like. I'm gonna try and put the phone down and film as I go through everything in my drawers, but I'm just, I'm looking at them now and I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. Like. I probably have 15 to 20 lipsticks in my everyday makeup drawer. I don't need that many shades. And half of them are browns, like a neutral brown. I don't need that many. I have probably 15 lip glosses. I don't need that many. Um, primers, I'm only using one right now. So I'm going to probably declutter some that I haven't used for a while. I have so many blushes and so many bronzers in my drawers. So I'm only using cream bronzers and cream blushes right now. So half of them can go. I will not declutter all of them. I'm going to put some in my like drawers in my bedroom where I store my makeup that I'm not using right now. Um, and I usually do like change them over and over so they don't um, just sit there and go to waste. But I have like 20 highlighters in my drawer. We don't need that many. Um, so we're going to go through these concealers. Some of my foundations are empty. I don't know why they're still in my drawer, but they're taking up space and I need them to go. So that is what we're doing today in today's video. I'm going to be overwhelmed. Hopefully this video is not too long, but if it is, grab a snack, get a drink and just relax. Let's get straight into it, guys. All right, guys, don't mind my legs. This is a drawer number one. Now I can't fit everything on screen, but this is basically what drawer number one looks like. So we've got Highlighters and primers, actually all of this is basically highlighters, setting powders and some highlighters, primers. And then we've got all my um, like bronzers and blushes in here. It's a mess. As you can see, there's a lot of products and this is meant to be like my everyday makeup drawer. We don't need all of these items. So we are gonna give this a nice spring clean. Now, hopefully everything's in focus. I can't really see the screen on my phone, so I can't see if everything's in focus or out of focus. If it's out of focus, I do apologize. But yeah, let's get straight into it. So I think we'll start with the bronzers and blushes. The first one we have is Charlotte Tilbury. This is a really pretty bronzer and I've used it a lot, as you can see. It's gone kind of hard band because I haven't used it for a while. I do really like this this um so i'm gonna keep it in my everyday makeup drawer it's it's not too big compared to some of my face palettes i'm gonna um just keep this one for now i do like that and i want to get my money's worth this is a really pretty um blush palette and also highlighter palette as well i really only use these two shades and these so these four i don't really use these um four at the end but i'm gonna keep it just because i really like these highlighters they're so pretty and this only cost me ten dollars and it's quite thin and I just want um, a little variety. This is the Manny MUA um, Out of Dimension Eyeshadow, or oh, sorry, Face Palette. Very big. I do like this, but I only use these two shades. So I'm actually going to put this in my other drawers because I don't need it in here. And it's very big and bulky and just, it takes up a lot of room. So we're going to move that away. We have this um, Morphe Meredith Duxbury like highlighter and um, eyeshadow palette. We're gonna um, just declutter this because I can't see myself using this. I might actually see if my sister likes this because she likes these eyeshadow tones and also these highlighters. So um, I'm gonna see if she likes these. I like these shades, but I just don't use it because I have a lot of other shades that I prefer. We have this Laura Lee Blush Aesthetic Palette. I really like this and I've used it quite a lot, but I only use one, two, these two shades and maybe this one. I haven't used any of the other ones. 
so I'm gonna move this away because I just, uh, two shades out of the eight, I just, there's no point in having it in here. We'll move that aside. This is the little Ofro Mini um, Trio, like uh, cream, highlighter, and blush. I'm gonna keep this in here because I love the colors. I love hot pink blushes. This cream is really nice. This um, like beautiful shimmer is really nice for inner corner highlighters or just for a highlighter. And then this is really pretty as well. So I'm gonna keep that one. We'll put that there. We have some blush palettes back here. This is the W7 The Cheek um, palette, face palette. This is the dupe for um, Benefits face palette. I really like this highlighter and this or this bronzer. I don't use these two um, and I just don't feel like I'm gonna use this enough to keep it in here. So I'm gonna move that aside for now, but I do like this palette. Then we have my um, friend's Ofra palette, Ali Dawson's Ofra collaboration palette, or one of hers, she has two. This one I really like. I'm gonna keep it because I really like this highlighter. And then some of these shades are really nice, like this greenish aqua shade is so pretty as an inner corner highlighter. So we're gonna keep that one. Now I know this is more of an eyeshadow palette than face palette, but I really like these um, shades and I like to have them close to me. So I'm gonna um, put these in my everyday makeup drawer and not my eyeshadow palette drawer. This shade's a bit dark for me, so I'm not gonna use that one. I can use it for an eyeshadow, but as a bronzer, it's too dark for me. But these shades, this is so pretty, I'm gonna keep. So I'll put that here. Um, we have another Ofra palette. I love this palette. I'm going to keep it. I love this shimmery bronzer and then this blush. And just these these three are mainly the ones I use. These ones are a bit too dark. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but these ones I love. And as you can see, I've hit pan on this one, how much I love it. So I'm going to keep that one in there. So we'll put these Ofra ones back for now. We have a little head, head wig Colourpop um, highlighter. I thought this was so pretty. I bought this like probably six weeks ago. It's already starting to crack. I don't know what's happening in the middle there. So we are just gonna move that aside. I love the Super Shock um, highlighter formula from Colourpop, but this is just crumbling and it's kind of brand new to me. So I don't understand what's happening with that. So we're just gonna declutter that because I was disappointed with the how pigmented that is. We have two Colourpop blushes. Now these are very pigmented. I don't think they're gonna be working for my skin tone. Too dark for me. Yes, I can use them as um, like eyeshadows. I'm actually going to keep this one though because I really like this shade and I don't have a blush that shade. And I do want to do like a create a purple look with purple eyes and then like a purple blush. So we're going to keep that for that. Um, but this one is, this one's too dark for me. So I don't want to touch it yet. I'm just going to put that aside and give it to somebody else. So we'll put this aside i actually got this in my ColourPop mystery box i unboxed three weeks ago four weeks ago so go check that out on my youtube channel we've got this beautiful highlighter palette from ColourPop. i'm going to keep this because i love these shades and then this like purpley shade is stunning so we'll keep that one next we do have this little very pigmented blush from benefit i like this color but i think it's too pigmented for what i like nowadays um i think i'm going to just declutter this one because it's over a year and a year and a half old i think so we're going to just declutter that i don't have any friends that will like that color so we're just decluttering that we have this w7 blush now i was given this um by w7 the brand that were very kind to give me a whole lot of things i'm actually going to declutter this one because it's just a little on the bronzy side i like peach blushes but this is a little too dark for me so we're going to declutter that one i haven't used it for a while. I did love it, but I just haven't used it enough for me to justify keeping in this drawer. We have this face palette. This is the um, Kind Collective Beauty Palette. I actually really like this palette. I love the highlighters, I love the blush, and I love the bronzer. And then these are actually eyeshadow shades. I'm gonna keep it because it's really pretty. So I'll keep that one. So I'll put all that back in here. I'm actually quite happy with that so far. So I'm gonna keep those. That is my face blush bronzer section done happy with that decluttered quite a lot i decluttered one two three four five six seven eight eight items out of this drawer we have this highlighter i'm going to put in the highlighter side in a second but we'll move on to the middle part so we've got some primers this is the nikita joy matte beige primer i haven't used this enough so i'm going to keep it that was actually given to me by my friend pure lotti i have a highlighter i'll put that to the side this is my favorite primer I've ever tried. I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to buy more of this one. This is the Elf Power Grip Primer. I've already gone through a whole tube of this. This is my second one. We're keeping that one. We have the W7 It's Glow Primer. I'm not a huge fan of glowy primers. Um, 
If you like a glowy base, then this is great for you, but I don't really like it. So I'm going to declutter this one. It's just one that doesn't work for me. I like a um, full matte face. I always set my face completely matte. So this is kind of, um, yeah, not good for that. So I'm going to declutter that one. We have the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I'm going to actually declutter this one because this is, it's good, but it's actually empty. I think it's on its last legs. And like I said, I've been using this a lot more than this. And this is my second one of it. I do like it. I like the smell, but the primer, this fruit primer is just so much better for me and my skin tone and my skin in general. We have the Kind Collective Blur Perfection Primer. I'm going to declutter this one again. This is nice, but it gives like a little glowish vibe and I don't want that one. So we declutter that one. We have some lash glues. We don't need that there. We have the Kind Collective Miracle Glow Serum. So this is like a primer slash highlighter. You can mix it in your foundation, stuff like that. I was given, I think I was given this by them. I really appreciate it, but it's not for me. So we're going to declutter that one. Then in the middle, we have some liquid highlighters. Now, they're not normally here, but as you can see, my highlight section is chocolate block. So we are going to keep these. I'm going to put them back in here until I've done the highlight section. I just actually got these in my melt mystery boxes, so I want to try these out. So that's why we're keeping them in here. All right, now we're onto the highlight section. I move the camera a little to the side so you can see a little bit more. This, this is too much highlighter for me, so we are going to declutter a lot of this. So firstly, we have some Kaleidos highlighters. I love these, these are so pretty. This is a purple reflect. Keeping that one, we have the Skywalker. This is the bluish one. Keeping that one, I like those reflective ones. Oh, this is an elf bronzer. I'm actually gonna declutter this one because it's a cream bronzer and it's nice, but it's too thick for me compared to the ones that I really like. So we're just gonna declutter that one because it's been sitting there and I haven't used it for a while. So declutter that one. We have, this is a highlighter palette. I mainly only use these two shades, mainly this one. This is still pigmented, but this one is so pretty. I want to keep it, but I want to take this out or that shade and put it in one of these. So what I might do is I might actually take this gold one and replace it with that purple because I use the purple a lot more than the gold and I like that one. So we're going to swap those two shades out and then I'm going to declutter this one because it, the other shades are too dark for me. So I'll do that another day. We have the Red Beauty um, blush, also highlighter. Very, very pretty. I'm not a huge fan of this. I'm going to declutter it and give it to my sister. I'm sure she'll like that color. It's just, it's not, it's not my thing. We'll declutter it. I don't like the payoff that gives me. Next, we have this collaboration with um, Trixie Mattel. This is the Kim Chi highlighter. I love this. It's like a cream highlighter, but it's so pretty. I don't know if the colors are sh showing up on camera. It's so pretty. I'm going to keep this one. This one here is from Teamy. I actually really love the color of this highlighter. So we're going to keep it because I do want to test this out and play with it. I haven't actually tested it out on camera. So I want to play with this one. Very pretty. Packaging is kind of cheap, but it's a very pretty shade. So we'll keep that one. Next, guys, we have this Glamlight Hershey's Cookies and Cream Highlighter. I really like this one shade here. That's too dark for me. This shade is really pretty but I'm going to move this to my other drawers just because I'm not using it enough. So I want to make room for some other highlighters. So we'll move that away. I'm not decluttering. I'm just moving it to the side. We have this Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter palette. I really like this, but I'm not using it enough. And I'm actually going to keep this one instead of this one in my drawer because this one is really pretty and has a bit more of a, like a holographic um, shift to it. And I really like this one. It's more of a um, putty highlighter. This is powder and I like the putty formula because it blends into my skin a little bit better. So we're gonna keep that one. That was given to me by my sister from Amazon. So I'm happy about that. We have this one, Believe Beauty. I like this one, but I haven't used it enough. Um, oh God, I can't open it. I haven't used it enough. So we're gonna um, move that to my other room. We have this other one. This is the Wet n Wild highlighter. I actually like this one, but I haven't, ow. It's a blush and highlighter, sorry. Um, I haven't used this enough, so we are going to put that aside and move it into the other room. Next, we have a couple of highlighters from Ofra. This is really pretty. I am going to move this to the other room because I haven't used it, but it's pretty. I like the payoff that gives. Then we've got my other highlighter from Ofra. I like this one. It's got four different shades in it, but I haven't used it enough. So we're gonna move that to the other room just to make more room. Uh, what else do we have? We have some melt. These are actually cream blush lights. I'm actually going to keep these because I just got these in my melt mystery boxes and I want to try them out on camera. So we're going to move this to the face side 
Um, and then we have this other one belt. This is actually, this is a blush light as well. But I don't think I want to use this because I think it's too dark for me. Oh, I think it's too dark for me. But I've kept it in the drawer because I thought I would still play with it on camera. But it's too dark. It's more of a bronzer. I don't, like, I really thought this was going to be the shade that I got in this. But it's too dark. It's like a bronzy highlighter. It's too dark for me. I don't think I'm going to play with that. So I'm actually going to move this. Actually, I'm going to declutter it. I don't think I'm going to play with that. We'll declutter that one and give it to someone else. Uh, next we have my setting powders, or, oh, yeah, I've got, sorry, another setting powder here. So I've got the Huda Beauty, um, Cherry Blossom setting powder. This doesn't work for me, it clings onto all my dry patches. I'm going to give that to a friend. We have my favourite setting powder, which is the Nikita Joy Velvet Finishing Powder. I am almost out of this one. I'm trying to use it up because I've had this for over two years, and it does say it's got like a 12-month expiry date on it, so I've used this for a long time and I'm almost out so I'm trying to get rid of this and then once that's out I'm going to go on to my center of attention cosmetic setting powder this is the all day slay um translucent setting powder I like this one but I want to use this one up before I get into this one I don't really buy too many setting powders once I find one that works for me I just stick with them we have this W7 one which was sent to me um by W7 this is the very vegan translucent setting powder this is nice but as you can see it's quite dark and it does actually add quite a bit of color to my face when I don't want that much um, darkness. I just want like a, a, a translucent setting powder because that's what it says, but it's not translucent. It adds too much pigment. So we're going to declare that on because I don't use it. So that is my highlighter side drawer done. We're going to move some of these highlighters back in here and we're going to see how much I've actually decluttered. I'm going to move these back in here just because it will remind me to swap those colors out and then declutter this one. We have my little... Um, what is it, Timu Harada? We've got this one here, which is one of my favorites. Oh, Trixie, so pretty. And then we've got my primer. So that is my one side of my drawer done. And guys, this is what my drawer looks like now with everything decluttered. I'm actually happy with how like much nicer it is. And then this is actually everything that I have moved out of those drawers. So there's a ton of stuff that I need to declutter or move to my other drawers. Um, I'm excited about that. I'm going to move this up here and then we're going to start with this drawer. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Hi guys, Editing James here. So I realized in the second half of this video or when I get to draw number two that I don't really show you everything that I'm talking about on camera properly because like I said, I couldn't see the screen of my phone because it was above where I was sitting and I thought everything was in focus. But I realized that I didn't move my hand in view of the camera all the time. But I didn't want to refilm everything. So I just want to apologize now. Um, you still kind of get the idea of what I'm doing, but you don't get to see all the swatches of the liners that I do at the end. So I do apologize that. Um, but I still want to post the video because I'm still quite happy with the end result. Oh, and also it was a little like out of focus on the left side of the camera. There was like a white blur. So my camera skills weren't perfect in this video. Okay, enjoy, bye. All right, guys, and then my second drawer is this one here. We have my lipsticks, lip glosses, eyeliners, lip liners, concealers, brow products, mascaras, foundations and everything else that I need to do my base and my face. So we have a lot to go through and this one is going to be the hardest because we've got so many lip liners and stuff. I think I'm going to start with my lip glosses. So this is a Sephora lip gloss. I love the um, reflect of pink and purple in this. So I'm going to keep this one. We have my new additions thanks to my friend Ellie Dawson. She gave me all these um, little Fenty lip glosses. I'm going to keep all of these because they are so pretty and they smell so nice. I just, I love this one. This was probably my favorite. It's so pretty. I like the dark tone of that. So I'm going to keep that one. Put that to that side. And then we have these lip glosses. Now, I love this purple one. I'm going to keep that one because it's stunning. We are going to keep this pink one because that's pretty. And then I think... I'm going to I'm going to keep this nude one because that's from Center of Attention. My friend Lottie gave me these. But these two I'm going to declutter just because I haven't used them and 
they're over a year and a half old, so I feel like I just need to get rid of them because I haven't used them. The rest I can justify using, but these ones I I can't see myself using, so I'll declutter that. And then we have four more, which were mixed in with my, um, what do you call this? My lipstick. So we've got my Ofra lipstick or lip gloss from um, Ali Dawson's collection or collaboration with Ofra. This is in the shade Koa. So pretty. I love that one. Like I said, I love the brown ones. This is really pretty. We are going to declutter this wet and wild one just because I have two kind of similar pinkish ones and I haven't used this one over the other ones because I like one a lot better. We have this um, Lunar Beauty one. I love this one, but as you can see, it's almost out. I'm scraping the bottom to get the product out. So we're going to declutter this one. I love the packaging though, but it's just empty. This one here, Makeup Revolution. I'm going to declutter this one just because I kind of feel like the Fenty Beauty one similar to that. I mean, this is a little darker, but I like the formula better of this one. So we're going to declutter that one and we're going to keep this one. So that's those. Now we are on to the lipsticks. Now we have these two lipsticks from Melt Cosmetics. I'm going to keep them because they are lip paints and I love the way they look and I just got them in my mystery boxes, so we're keeping them. We have this Morphe Bullet Lipstick. It's a red. Um, I might see what. Ooh. I might actually keep that one because I like a red bullet. I also like a liquid lipstick as well in the same shade. So this is the Dior liquid lipstick in a red shade as well. I'm not going to swatch it, but that's the shade there. I'm going to keep it. So that's going to be my matte version. And then this is going to be my liquid version. I do prefer matte, but I like to have a liquid if I need it. So we'll keep that there. Then we have the Ofra one. This is the collaboration with Ali Dawson. So this is the shade Kaya. So we've got Ko and Kaya and they go together very nicely. We're going to keep both of those because I like that shade. We have this red liquid lipstick from um, Luna Beauty, but this is their like OG packaging from years and years ago when he did his mystery boxes two, three, four years ago, I think, because he did one a year and a half ago and then he did one two years before that. So this one is their OG. I've had this one. I love the packaging. They've actually changed the packaging, but they've got the same shade. This is the shade Aphrodite, but I think because it's so old, I'm going to declutter that one. So we'll get rid of that one and we'll keep these two red ones instead. We have this Believe Beauty um, Deep brown i really like this color so we're gonna keep that one i think that could be my bullet version of like a nude lipstick that dark we have this black matte lipstick from um colourpop i bought this because i wanted a lipstick that i can put shimmers over the top with like a black one and enhance the shimmers so we're going to keep that one for that reason we have the morphe pink bullet lipstick i'm going to keep that one because i don't have a pink like that one and that's the only pink i have so i'll keep that one then we have this ColourPop Nude lipstick. I think I'm going to declutter this one because I can see myself using this um, Artist Couture one instead. I like this one better. You can see I've used it with my lip liners, darker lip liner, but I like the formula of that better, so I'll keep that one. And then we have another melt one. Now, this is, I think, their original packaging of their lip paints. I feel like it's very similar, but this is a very old shade so i'm going to declutter that one because i just i haven't used this in forever and these are the new ones so i'll keep the new ones and get rid of the old ones we have this what's this one this is the la colors really pretty brown but i have it in this shade I believe so i'm going to keep that one and we're going to declutter this one because like i said i need to make room in my drawers so I declutter that one and then lastly we have a morphe one now i love a purple lipstick we're going to keep this on because i don't have a purple bullet lipstick so that's my lipsticks all done we'll put them back in here and then we'll move on actually i might put some of my lip glosses back in here as well just to see how many I actually have all oh, these are lipsticks put them in there Okay, so that's all my lip glosses and lipsticks done. Now that I've done the lipsticks and lip glosses, I think I want to tackle this side before I go into all my liners because we have so many of them there. I just want to go into this section. So we're going to the foundations. Oh, what do we have back here? Oh, this is setting powder. I'm actually going to declutter that because I haven't used it. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusions foundation, and I feel like I'm almost out of this one, but I want to use it up. So we're going to keep that in there. We have these little color switches. I have multiple of these. 
because they're so handy. I do keep the extras back there, so we'll pull them out for now. We've got my lash curlers, so we'll keep them. This um, foundation, the Kind Collective 2-on-1 foundation and concealer, I really like this, but this is the wrong shade for me. This isn't the shade light medium. I thought it would work for me, but I think I need to go light. This is very yellow for me, so I'm gonna declutter that on just because it's too dark for me. This is um, a NARS concealer, pot concealer. I'm gonna keep this one. As you can see, I love this one. It costs about $50 for a little pot like this, but it does go um, a long way. So we're gonna keep that and use every little bit of that up to get my money's worth. Then we have this Milk Little Makeup Bronzer. I'm gonna keep this one. This is in the shade Baked. I'm gonna keep that one because I really like the cream product right now. We have my HD foundation. Now I'm gonna declutter, which one am I decluttering? I'm gonna declutter this one, this one's too dark. This one is the one I bought, that's my shade. This is the wrong shade. And I used to mix it with my really light um, W7, but this is actually empty. So I can't really lighten it up and I don't wanna to have to buy another one. This is just gonna go. I'm just gonna keep the right shade. Then we have these two foundations. This one's too dark for me. This is too dark for me. Um, this one's actually almost empty, so I don't mind decluttering that one because I'm not I'm not using it. It's too dark for me, but there's a little bit left. And I was actually mixing these two shades, I think, to get the right shade, but both of these are empty. So we're gonna declutter them. And we're gonna keep that foundation, this foundation. This is too dark for me. I haven't even opened it. Um, I bought this online and it's just, it's the wrong shade for me. So we'll declutter that and give that to somebody else. And then we have this LYS foundation. I have not used this for a while and I feel like it's separated. This is actually given to me by my friend Lottie. Um, I can kind of see in the tube, it kind of looks like it's very watery and separated because it's been sitting on the side. But I just, I didn't really like the shade. I think the shade's too dark for me and I just, it wasn't my favorite, so we're gonna declutter that one. But we do have this LYS bronzer stick, which I absolutely love. It's the creamiest bronzer stick in the world, and I absolutely love this one. So we're definitely keeping this one, and we're gonna keep it in my foundation drawer. We have my concealer here, my other bronzer. We have this milk bronzer as well, or contour. This is a little bit darker than the one in the white. I think this is a more cool tone. This is a more warm tone. We're gonna keep both of those. We also have some other concealers here. Like I said, everything's everywhere. We have these three, three, con four concealers, five concealers, six concealers. Oh God, we have six concealers. Okay, so we're gonna keep this elf one. I love this one. We're gonna keep, actually no, we're gonna declutter this one because it's almost out. And I haven't used this one in a while. As you can see, it's kind of separating. I can see it in the tube, it's kind of separating. So we did clutter that one. We're gonna keep both of these. These are W7 um, concealers, I love them. They are like the same as e.l.f., but these are $5, this is $16. So I do prefer these over that one, price-wise. But I do have an extra e.l.f. one. So I'm actually gonna put this in my other drawer and just use this one up and then we'll pour this out when I need it. We have this pure white concealer. This is the kimchi. She concealer, I haven't used it yet. Oh God, I haven't even, it's a twist one? Yeah, I haven't even used it yet, but it does have a little like brush on the end when you apply it. So I'm excited to play with this one. I'm excited to get into this one. I bought it because I want to do special effects makeup where you need like a complete white base and this helps for the white bases. So I'm gonna keep that for that. Oh, we have some other products in here. What do we have? Oh, we have a um, P. Louise base. I'm gonna keep that one in there. We have, this is a MAC, oh, this is a prettiest. Look at that lip balm, that is so pretty. This is their MAC, like Christmas lip balm. I'm gonna keep that one because it's so pretty. And then we do have this blush. Now this is a cream blush. I'm gonna keep this in this drawer, even though I have like another cream blush in the other drawer, but this is just cream. The other one had highlighter and a powder. This is just cream. This is the Made by Mitchell cream blush in a really hot pink shade. So we're gonna keep it in this drawer with the other face products or the base products just because I'm using this combination the most I'm not really using powders as much besides setting powder I'm only using cream and liquid products for my base so we're going to keep all this together in one drawer so I know exactly where it is Put that there that looks a lot better then we have some melt um, brow products so we have some uh, brow gel I'm not going to keep actually because I don't use them we have this um, ultra fine brow pencil from Melt. I'm gonna keep it for now. Oh, we have another P. Louise um, white base. We're gonna keep that in there with the concealers. What else? Actually, I might put my um, glitter glue, my NYX glitter glue in here as well, just so I know where 
all the liquid products are. We'll keep that in there. And we have mascaras. So I've got three mascaras. I'm going to keep all of these. This is one from Maybelline, Milk Cosmetics, and W7. We'll keep all three there. We have my little pencil sharpener for my liners. I like this one. This is a kimchi chic little bear one. Really cute. And then we have my brow products. This is what I use. My kind um, collective brow little like spooly gel thingy and then we have the w7 one which has a different like a doe foot applicator i like this but i don't like the applicator so i apply this product on my brows and then i use a spoolie out of this to um put it through my brows because it's just the way i like to do things oh i put all these little makeup switches in here as well just so there's more room on my table and now that we've done all that let's get into the liners so we have a whole lot of liners here we don't need that many we've got a purple morphe liner we keep that one we have another this is a purple liner um really pretty from wet and wild i'm gonna i'm gonna keep that one because i do like the combination of actually no i'm gonna declutter this one and keep the flower beauty one because this flower one flower beauty one is really pretty and it's newer so we're going to keep this one declutter that one we have this lip liner from w7 just a nice nude actually is it empty oh no nice nude little brown we're going to keep that one cool tone brown we've got another flower beauty i love flower beauty liners we're going to keep all flower beauty products because i like their products so we'll keep that one we have a Morphe. Oh, this is the Sweet Tea Morphe liner, nude brown. I really like this one. We're going to keep this one because I like their formula. Wet and Wild nude, keep that one. This ColourPop, I'm going to declutter it. I'm not using that liner. I'm going to, what's this one? Makeup Revolution lip liner. I feel like I've got this one. Yeah, I already have that shade. We're going to declutter that one because I prefer... The Flower Beauty, which is, where is that? I just saw it. This one, the Flower Beauty version of that. So we're going to keep that one. It doesn't look like the same color, but they are very similar. So we're going to declutter that one. This one isn't even open, so we're going to keep that one. This is another Makeup Revolution. We'll keep that one. Uh, oh, this is the wine. So this is a really dark, like, brownish maroon i'm gonna keep that one because i don't have a shade in that this is ColourPop's brown like liners it's pretty i put this in my waterline even though it's for like your eyelids i put this in my waterline oh it's not even going down okay it's not winding down which is a problem so we are going to declutter that because it's not even going down um we have another morphe green lip liner we're going to keep that one because i don't have that shade we have two of these purple ones we're going to keep that because i like the purple um this bluish one from morphe i don't see myself using that very often so we might declutter that one we have oh god did i just pull that off i think that's actually sharp this is a red liner i like the red on that so we're going to keep that one and then lastly, we have, oh, there's another Flower Beauty one. We'll keep that. So that's my lip liners done. Now we have my eyeliners. Oh, this is a brow pencil actually from Melt. We'll keep that and put that in the brow section here. Eyeliners. Now we have a ton. This is a felt tip liner. I think I use this. This is W7. I'm going to declutter this. It was terrible. I tried to use it and it looks good. But when you fill in your, like, winged liner with this it doesn't work so we declutter that straight away my black liners now i have a ton of these actually this is a purple one i think this is a purple liner we're going to keep that one because it's really pretty but we have a ton of um like black liners eyeliners for the waterline i have a lot of black ones that i like so this is a color pop one no this is a metallic one okay we're basically going to keep those three this one what's this one it's just black oh i don't know if i like that black it's got like a brush tip not a f oh it's pretty we'll keep that for now this one actually looks terrible in my waterline it's a brown sephora brown but this brown for some lo reason looks red in my waterline and it kind of gives me like red eye or pink eye look so i'm going to declutter that one we have this pink soft one this is really pretty in the waterline so we're going to declutter oh we're going to keep that one sorry uh, color pop liquid liner we're going to keep that one we have another black this is uh from Too faced 
think. Oh, okay, that's the end of it. May as well declutter that one because it's the end. We have another metallic cream gel liner from Colourpop. Really pretty soft pink. We're going to keep that one because I love the colours. This is a brand new one. This is a white shade because I don't really have very many white. So we're going to keep that one. We have these are liquid liners from Colourpop. Um, this is the yellow version of the new one. So that... That yellow one I'm going to declutter because it's old and I have the new version. I got that in my mystery box. Um, this one is the greenish one. That's kind of pretty. I don't know if I'm going to use these very often, but I'm going to have it. This is a ColourPop white liner. We're going to keep that one because you can never have enough white or black liners. So we'll keep those ones. What's this one? This is a hot pink one. Oh, that's dry. Okay, that broke off. We're going to declutter that one. That was like two years ago. Oh, this is very dry. I don't like the feel of that. I'm going to declutter that one. I love this one, but I think this might be almost... Oh, no, it's got some product too in it. Like a really pretty shimmer aqua bluish green. Keep that on. These ones here from Makeup Revolution are terrible. I do not suggest them. They are very dry when you try and put them in the waterline. They look creamy. They don't last. They lift. And, like, you have to reapply and reapply. So I'm going to declutter that one. We have this orange one. I don't see myself using this orange. At, oh my God, that is so dry. These also do break very easily, but that was very dry. So let's declutter that one. Pale blue, very nice. Don't know when I'm gonna use that one, but it's nice to have, so keep that on. We have this one, this is a double-ended one. So this is a black one, which can never have enough blacks. And then we've got this one, which is like a shimmer which is really pretty in the one inner corner, but also as a brow highlighter. So we're gonna keep that one. We have this one, which is another black. Oh, that's a bit dry, but I'm gonna... No, we have one, two, we have three blacks. I'm gonna declutter that one because it's very dry. This one here is a Revlon. What's this one? Is this a uh, black? Yeah, this is another black. Yeah, this is a lot more creamy than the other one. So. We'll keep that one three black ones right now oh this sephora one is so pretty so so pretty very similar to the ColourPop one but it's a little darker i love this one and it's very very waterproof it lasts in the waterline perfectly and i love that one i have another blue from ColourPop. is that similar to this one no it's a darker one and it's a shimmer oh oh very very similar but we'll keep that one because it's pretty this one's really pretty. This one here is from LA Colors. I love that yellow. I'm going to keep that one. We have a metallic gray from ColourPop, a little creme gel liner. Oh, yeah, little creme gel liner. Look how pretty that is. I love how pigmented that is. We're going to keep that one. I don't know when I'll use it, but we're going to keep it. This one, what's this one? Oh, this is a black. Oh, that's pretty. We'll keep that one. I didn't even know I had that one. We have the pink one. I'm just swatching these to see if they actually still are wet. They are. Keep that one. What's this one? Is this a black as well? No, this is like a greenish blue. Oh, we'll keep that one. That's probably the best one that feels. That one is. That one feels really nice. This one is a red one. Mm, we'll keep the red one. I don't know when I'll use that red, but we'll keep it just to have. And then this last one is, I think this is the white one, but it's so dirty because I've used it so many times. It's not really, it's more gray now because the tip is so dirty. I don't know when I'm going to use that one. I feel like I'm going to declutter that one just because it's dirty and it's not white anymore. All right, so that's all my liners done. This is the ones that I'm going to keep. We've got about 10 liquid liners and then the rest all like mattes and shimmers. I'm really happy with the colors that I've kept. And I do use liners in my waterline every time I do a makeup look. So I do go through these quite a lot. Um, that's why I have so many blacks because I always go through my black shades. And when I need them, I just seem to run out. So I like to have two or three black shades in case I lose one or I just run out. So those are my liners done, lip liners and liners done. I'm really happy with how much I've decluttered. Doesn't look like I've decluttered a lot here. But we did declutter about 10, so I'm happy with that. This is the mess that we have on my desk that I need to go through now. So I'm really happy with everything. We have all my drinks in 
the camera we'll move that to the side we have all my like bronzers highlighters and everything like that we've got the lip glosses lipsticks that we are going to go through the clutter and keep we have my little foundations that we are going to get rid of we have some of the lip products the rest are on the bin and then we have all this so we've we've probably got um, probably about 30 to 50 items out of these drawers we have probably about 15 liners in the bin that i'm not going to keep everything else i have to go through and make sure um i do want to declutter give away or just um keep in my other drawers but yeah i'm happy with the progress that we did today so final look at my drawers this is what it looks like one side and then the second side looks like this now this side looks like there's a lot more just because there's a lot more liners and lip glosses and stuff but i'm really happy with this side because this side looked like a mess and it was really hard trying to lift all the face palettes to get the ones that i needed from underneath them um so yeah i'm really happy about this side the most this side's always going to look a little bit messy because of all the products but this side is like brand new so yeah guys i'm happy with the progress i did today so i'm standing because um it took a long time to film that and my legs are getting tired or sleepy um <laughs> so i'm just standing up and filming the last part of this video i have to do my eyeshadow draw but i might do that off camera and just do it off camera while i'm watching youtube or something like that but i am really happy with the progress because i i do a lot of tiktok lives um, and I'm always having to reach through my drawers to try and find what I need and sometimes I can't find it because there's so many products on top of the other products and also for my mental health if everything's cluttered then I kind of feel cluttered so um, for my mental health I wanted to do this as well I am just rambling now so I'm gonna love and leave you I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel check out my Instagram and TikTok because I do post a lot on there that I don't film and with that guys stay safe and I'll see you later I'm gonna bang